And welcome back, guys, to another block. Um, we're still here with Arevi, finishing this up. You want to go ahead and do your pimp your channel again? Hey, guys. Um, my Twitter account is at underscore Arobi, and my YouTube account is extra Rob. So you'll have to, if you search for Arobi, it'll be a lot quicker. And as always, I'll have those down in my description. There you go. Highly recommend you check them out. So we have what left to make the portal room, the doors, and the floor. Right, right. We have to we have to finish the, the portal room. Um, there is some odds and ends we want to finish on the outside, and the um, uh, floor. Yeah, floor, portal room, and some odds and ends. Okay, dokie. What do you want to work on so, next? Well, I think I'm going to I'm going to delegate since I want to try and get this done. So we're going to delegate a little bit. Um, I would like you to take the cobble and or the cobble blocks and the cobblestone walls out of there. Okay. All right. And what we're going to do is we're going to make support pillars for uh, the outside walls. Okay. So what, what you're going to do is you're going to place a block there and a support pillar like that. Okay. Um, when you do something like on this side, you're going to support pillar all the way up to the, the log above it. Okay, I can do that. And if you get over to this side where there's dirt, you're going to cut the dirt out. Oh, put... I'm going to cover up the mushrooms. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what sucks. Um, hold on one second. Hold on before we go any further. Than that. Okay. You don't want to, you want to stay the same height as the rest of them. Oh, gotcha. Um, so even, even if this comes all the way down here, you still only want to go there. And we are going to add your favorite block into this build, the column and the pillars. Ooh. So we will do that um, a little later. Okay. Um, so yeah, if you could just finish. finish yeah, I'll work on that. And I'll start on a pillar in the back so you can see what's going on. Sounds good. And we just got to do a bit of the old scaffolding here. Oh, crap. This is the worst scaffolding ever. <laughs> There we go. Thought I had dirt. Yep, there it is. Oh. I went and I had myself some lunch, ham sandwich, and a giant mug of hot cocoa. Green, green eggs and ham. Mm-hmm. Killed a zombie. <laughs> wandering onto my yard. Might have just been a child, like from the neighborhood, but I mean, whatever. Uh oh. Close enough. <laughs> It's not like they're going to be complaining about it. The right, right. child, that is. The parents, possibly. I might be in jail before <laughs> this is released. That's where I'm going with this. Hashtag release. Release. <laughs> Killing a child's not that wrong. <laughs> okay. There we go. And this is going to be... Oh crap, how tall is this? This goes down just one. Oh. One and then block. Oh, that's nice looking. Yeah, since you're over here, you can kind of see what I'm doing already. If I could actually place this block block correctly. <laughs> um there we go. Uh so we're gonna have pillars, columns, um, as footers for the house i like it and then we're going to kind of backfill it um just box it in with with cobble or uh with uh stone bricks that's what we're gonna do backfill it with stone bricks so that way it has a um it goes back a little bit so well, i could just do that really quick right here trying to give you a hint or a little idea what it's supposed to look like and we'll we'll add in some um some stairs as well to make it look like bricks maybe fell out nice and it would it'll look kind of like that um that that'll be how it'll kind of look around the whole house i like um and then this, this is just to show that this house is obviously not on the ground floor and we're just supporting it up whether or not you want to use underneath another portal as anything special or not that's up to you yeah we'll have to um, figure that one out that's gonna look sweet though. We could we could even have it that the nether portal spilled down the mountain, the hill here, and you just came out as far as you could and covered it in. Oh, I, I can get behind that. Yeah. 
And this is... Yeah, cool. Yeah, but it's just, it's a lot of, a lot of little details, and if you could think of a reason as to why it would be there, it usually turns out pretty good. Mm -hmm. Should I have uh, supports in these corners or just across the pl uh, plugs? There will be su um, where are you looking Like at? right up here between these sandstone bits. The sand, no, any, only in front of the Okay. Log. And those. If you can't see, if you can't see log, you don't put a pillar. Cool. And those are done, I believe. Oh, that is so sweet looking. All right. Um, if you want, then, um, where you see these pillars right here, this this cross beam. Yeah, I'll start putting could, the cross beam in there yeah, then. You could do that on all of them. Sweet. Uh, there are some logs. Cool. Okay, those are underground, so I don't need to deal with those. Yeah, because you, you said you were in construction before, right? Is that what you were saying? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, that, that always helps. Like, if you could think of a reason, construction-wise, why a support pillar would be there. Right. Like, or if, would a support pillar be there, and then you would build it because, yes, a support pillar should be in that location. Gotcha. Like, because most houses don't hang out over a hill and support themselves without some kind of... Generally not. Like, in right. my experience... Yeah, my dad was a uh, general contractor, uh -huh. and uh, I grew up building things and building houses with him. That's really cool. It's a good skill to have. Yeah, it was interesting. It's made owning a home a lot cheaper, because I don't have to hire someone to repair everything. <laughs> right. Which has been nice. I think I need to... Yeah, I'm missing a piece here. I'm going to grab it. Oh, this is coming along so nice, though. Mm. Yeah, I'm um, I'm really impressed. Um, you're learning very quickly as well. Well, to be fair, I'm just doing what you say. So well, hey, that's that's repetition. That's how you learn? <laughs> how you learn is doing what I say. Is fright. Perfect. Now you're getting the feel for it. That is okay. fantastic. And then if you want to just take some uh, cobblestone um, or some stone slabs and stone. Or stone bricks, the stone brick stairs. I had to look at my inventory to see what <laughs> Um And then just place them directly behind the pillars and make just a, an inside wall. Do you have any of those? Because there's no more hiding up there. Oh, isn't there? Yeah. Thank you. Half half of my stacks. Oh. We might need more. You're so good to me. And then, like, the little things you'd have to pay attention to um, is because this pillar isn't a full block. You can see behind it, and you can see the grass right there. So you would want to cut that grass out before you put the, the bricks down. Which bit? Oh, like... This this one I'm standing on? You can see it. Oh, so I want to so cut that grass. You'd probably want to cut it out and put stone there. That's fine. Oh, I gotcha. Okay. Okay, I'll go try and do the back end. Do you think I should uh, close up that dirt back there or put a brick behind that? Or yeah, putting leave... a brick behind it would probably be good. There you go. Okay. And uh, it's it's all more depth, so now you're going back a full block instead of just half a block. Right. I like that. Okay. Oops. Let me just get my baseline here. Do like one of these. And then if you put the uh, like a, an upside down stair on the bottom where the grass would be, mm -hmm. you just cut the you just cut the grass out and put a full block underneath it of stone. Gotcha. So that way it doesn't look like it's resting on grass.
Yeah, the, the whole depth thing is a big eye opener for me. Makes a huge difference. Yeah, I mean, I've I've seen a lot of nice builds, um, but then the people they don't they don't take um, into account the fact that it is flat. Right. I mean, you may use you may use different um, textures and everything, different different blocks, but because it's flat, it doesn't look as good as it could have. Okay, I see you have those. Gotta put some wing tips on these guys. Just realized this whole thing should be back a level. There we go. And I'm I'm out of material, so I'll probably just have to finish this up. Maybe off camera. People, I, I think people get the idea. Yeah, I think it should be all right. Okay. Ow, that was a bigger jump than I thought it was. I can give you the rest of these. Okay. As I block you off. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. I'm gonna come on in now. Hmm. Um, now we could probably just set up a floor. Um, we're gonna need logs. Um, how how would you like the floor to look? We could just do solid oak uh, stone slabs if you want. It's your call. Um, I'm gonna go with your opinion on this one. Okay. Um, well, we'll probably at some point add add some uh dividers to the rooms so they're not just straight hallways they have some kind of room system set up okay um so i would usually start off with the front being a sort of like like mud room or, or entryway where it's it's very very not um i don't know if i would say not pretty to look at but it's just like simple functional. gotcha yeah, simple functional um then uh i mean we could do my floor Oop. system which i i really i really like okay um which is the the logs just laying all over the ground um do you happen to have a lot of birch wood or anything oh i'm not sure i can go look probably not i don't know. probably not I a huge amount yeah i didn't see it so i don't have that much wood in general I've been meaning to set up a tree farm and actually start doing that, but I'm lazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure if you noticed, but uh, I tend to put things off. <laughs> so let me go look and see what I have. Sure. I'll just cut out the rest of this floor while we wait. Okie dokie. Uh, okay, I have 24 birch. Alright, we won't use birch then. And hunting down the birch is going to take a little longer than hunting down the oak. Right, right. Um, you want to grab some torches so we can light up the inside? That is another Mob. problem. Mobs aren't attacking us. I have no coal ready. Um, I cut a bunch down. Mom. I have eight torches, though. So, we're in luck. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I grabbed... Yeah, I have 22 coal. Yeah, I've been holding off on actually making, uh, you said you have 22 coal? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to get know. yelled at for this, but I really don't care. It's all I good. Throw it at you. Cool. Yeah, I got, I got a little, when we were mining out the stone, I seen it, and I was like, oh, I gotta have it. <laughs> I'll just slap some up for now. Okay, so my floor system is basically every other spot is a facing up log. Okay. Um, except for that one. That'll be a crafting bench for the doorway. But uh, maybe we'll throw stone into this. We'll see what it looks like. 
um, 